What really separates the students who get average ACT scores from the above average students, the ones who get the scholarships and get into the best schools? You'd be surprised. It's not studying long hours that gets you a high ACT score. What really separates out the high performers is that they know the traps, the tricks, and the distractors that the test designers put into the ACT to trip you up. Getting an average score is easy. Everyone can do that. But if you want the scholarship earning high score, you've got to learn how to approach the questions so you don't get tripped up. You need to learn to recognize the trick answers as well as the trick questions and use a method of approaching every question so that you don't fall into the trap. Let's see an obvious, easy example. On the math test, you'll see a question that says, John is earning $18,755 a year and gets a 9% raise. How much is he now making rounded to the nearest dollar? What many students do is they get out their calculator and they see that 9% of $18,755 rounds off to $1,688. And guess what choice A is? $1,688. And that would be wrong. What the question asked is, how much is he now making? It's the original salary plus the amount of the raise. But by being in a hurry and looking at the answers too soon, it's easy to get this one wrong. Now that's an easy example. There's a lot more on the tests that are more sinister and devious and dastardly that are just waiting to get you and trip you up. At College Exam Tutor, we have developed a four-hour video course that will walk you through step-by-step step how to take the ACT and to avoid the traps so that you can get the kind of score that will open doors for you. Visit us at collegeexamtutor.com and see for yourself how studying smart beats studying hard every single time. For College Exam Tutor, I'm Mike Bias.